yeah, yeah. Yeah, good morning, y'all. Sub one here. Third episode of uh, Music Corner. Today we're going to talk something a little bit different, not about music per se, although the, uh, the history of this uh, stemmed from music. So I want to talk a bit about respect and uh, paying it forward. And also, this goes out to people who actually are lucky and blessed enough. Sorry, I stayed up late to uh, finish last minute the uh, Kame House Australia round, which uh, I managed to submit on time. Woo! Shout outs to my uh, opponent, Will K. And uh, we'll see on Wednesday how we do. And you can uh, peep that Kame House Australia round one on Wednesday at um, the Kame House Australia Facebook page. Shout out to DJ Spell for organizing this. Um, anyways, back to what I was talking about. Uh, just this morning, I was just on Facebook because Spell had posted up the update video and while I was uh, scrolling around the main page, I saw, um, I saw uh, Rob Swift's video on how to uh, teach, and he was teaching somebody last Friday about 16th note fills. And that really brings me to my uh, first point, which is that a lot of, a lot of uh, teachers, well, sorry, no, that's not true. I'd like to believe, and I just want to state before I start that all the, uh, that all these opinions in these videos are all my own opinions only. Having said that though, these opinions have all been learnt and uh, absorbed over the years from countless names. And so, although they're not really solely my views, they are not only my views in a sense, and I try to uh, truthfully and accurately represent them as much as possible. So, not all of us are lucky enough to have mentors. Some of us are too scared or too chicken or too proud with too much ego to have a mentor. Other people just, for whatever reason, are unable to have a mentor or someone to learn from. Um, I've been lucky enough to have mentors and influences, direct influences, who have shared with me their knowledge and time and, and, and resources and I really do thank all of those people. But today I um, I experienced something really interesting where I, I was just watching you know, someone else's video and I realized that by watching his, when while I was watching his video, that I was doing something really, really wrong. And, and so, well, no, it wasn't wrong. It was more a case that uh, I was making the correct sound but I was doing it the wrong way. Now, most people be like, well, who cares? You know, you're doing the sound. You know, it's, it's the same sound with the same timing. It shouldn't matter. But actually, that's not quite right because what I found was, yeah, I could do the sound. So, for example, I'm just going to stop this for a moment just to, just to demonstrate uh, with one hand. Um, if I was doing, say, for example, um, if I was doing, for example, this, Right, and so what we're talking about today for the for the more turntable and technically minded is our uh, 16th note fills, and uh, so obviously you know we're trying to do something 16th note triplet fills actually, and so there's a there's a very specific um, meter and pattern and it sounds like this. So that's the that's the basic triplet sort of t -t 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 sort of triplet feel for for juggles and all the sorts of things like that. Now, all it was really was just kick, three hi hats, three snares. Now, people might argue, you know, you could do the same if you hit kick, three hi hats, 
three snares or you know it doesn't really matter if it's like left which one's on the left one's right and to some extent that's true it doesn't really matter however what does matter is how you take it so you know in 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 hip-hop we say that you know the foundation of the fundamentals are very important because you build up from that so this is a very good example of why having the fundamental movement and pattern correct is really important because I could have done that a different way, but I would have struggled to continue the pattern. Uh, let me see if I can demonstrate that. It's going to be a bit difficult because now that I know how to do it, I will consciously do it. But let me see if I can demonstrate. So although a lot messier, the point was, and you saw it really quickly, I could sort of get the hi-hats right. There was a kick, then there was like three hi-hats. But then because I wasn't doing it the way I did it the first time, the snares just went all out of place. And what you saw just then was the first time that I tried to do triplets and kick snares. And that was turned out disastrous. And to be honest, I haven't been able to do that for the one and a half years that I've tried it because I'm just disgusting and garbage. But as of this morning, as you saw just then, I can do triplets. And the reason for that is because I saw Rob Swiss video, which brings me to my second point. If you're lucky enough to have a mentor and they're <laughs> lucky enough to teach you, <laughs> then uh, what you need to be aware of and what I'd hopefully like to believe is happening is that if you truly have a mentor that they're teaching you everything they know they're not withholding information they're not you know uh, they're not changing it a little bit to like always keep you one step ahead I'd like to believe that they genuinely are teaching you what they know and transmitting that across so that you can eventually do the same and then better than they do and the reason why I say that is because I see like a lot of students who, and myself included, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of this, you know, we, we always try and rush towards where we want to be and we sometimes ignore what's right in front of our eyes. And it wasn't until, you know, today, this morning, when I, when I really sat down and just watched it on a video and had the chance to go stop, start, stop, start and watch every single movement that I was like, oh, you know what? This is how it's done. But realistically speaking, why did it have to be that video where, you know, he was teaching one of his own students and he was sharing that footage? Because, I mean, obviously, they've done countless routines over, you know, all the years. And, you know, it's not a first time that they've done triplets or note fills. As a matter of fact, I just saw his crewmate doing note fills in the flesh a couple of weeks ago. And I was still like, I don't get how to do this. But that leads me to the realization that really, really good teachers should never, ever, ever hold back stuff from their students. I mean, you should always teach something appropriate, and obviously teach it in a manner that's appropriate to the, uh, to the student. But in terms of the concepts and materials, it, it should never be diluted or watered down because you you owe your student the ability to be able to do what you do because that is why they learn from you in the first place I think yes sick needle dropping uh, and so that's sort of where I'm coming from at the moment I'm coming from the point that you know I've just realized something that's taken me, you know, one and a half years to just figure out. But now, like, where do we, where do I go from this? Now, I've seen a lot of people over the years, you know, in, in, in the local, uh, in, in my local scene, you know, come and go, or, you know, they, they learn a couple of classes and then they go off and do their own thing. Maybe they teach when they're not ready. And, um... You know, and, and it's, it's sad because not only do, do I not see what their teachers, like I don't see any vestiges of their teacher in them, but having also known the teachers, 
I know that you know sometimes what they teach and what like what these newer teachers teach is not what their teachers taught them and and it's it's a bit disappointing because it, it sort of highlights that there's this big you know sort of I want to be that guy much like photography and DJing hey hey three hour courses get a certificate woot woot now you can DJ yeah um, that aside uh, it's really important I think that students always continue to not so much just pay due pay dues but also acknowledge where you know where they got their whole style from so in my case coming back to me I will probably most likely end up paying for a couple of private sessions because you know in just one morning I figured out something that you know on my own probably I took you know a year and three quarters and I still didn't manage to get it right but just watching this dude teach someone else um, I mean I'm an hour later just staring at you know these and I figured it out and and this is also something that I'd like to say to a lot of people in my community please for the love of God get a mentor I don't care if it's event planning I mean obviously get a relevant mentor but you know get a mentor don't in, in, in today's age where, you know, everybody has a can-do attitude and everybody is encouraging and, you know, you can't call someone whack to get them to harden up anymore because you're just being a hater. Uh, it is so important that you find a mentor more than ever. It's really important in an age where you, like, you know, you can do anything and you can be anybody that we, we remember that just because you can do anything does not mean that everything is good think about that for a moment so i'm not saying don't experiment i'm just saying it always helps to have a mentor to guide you because if you have someone guiding you you get to where you want to go not necessarily faster but smoother um, a good mentor will be able to understand what you want and be able to give you what you want and add value to your venture and that's really important so you know for me right I could have just taken what I know now just then and then gone away and basically just you know practiced and done some more things but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some classes and learn some stuff not only to further what I know but also as a sort of payment for this dude for sharing free material which you know is a great business thing because obviously that that attracts business and obviously because you know you share just because you're sharing stuff doesn't mean that you share the extent of what you know obviously with that much experience he's got a lot more to teach and you know the video has barely scraped the surface of his classes but that is the uh musical corner message today it's not so much one of music but one of you know philosophy and culture and respect and this is Seb1 signing off.